It's only been two hours, but you've written so much. It's just a piece of cake. Besides, it's part of my job. I try to make the boring things more interesting for others. I think I understand every character, but when they're all together in a sentence, I don't understand it. That's the difference in professions. Anyway, just stay put. We can't do this. Well, like I said, all you have to do is to accept my love. But, uh, this isn't really, um... Lovebirds, lovebirds, lovebirds! Wow, good job! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, lady, uh, this guy doesn't want you to go! Last night in his sleep, he said your name like ten times. You really scared me. Well then, enjoy your stay. I'm going out to eat. I hope I see you again. Bye! Hang on. Harry. What? Where are you going? Well, I don't want to bother you, so I'll eat out. Oh, lend me your key to the house for a bit so I could have it duplicated. Go eat. Stop working already, you look sleepy. What's going on with him today? His attitude towards me has totally changed. He gets epileptic fits. Like I'd believe that. The kids said, you were saying my name last night in your sleep. So tell me, are you trying to play hard to get to be with me? I'm not a player, Wendy. But you're a member of the Mile High Club. I meant I'm a simple man. I mean what I say, every time. And I've said we're done. Hey, seriously though, Jack. You're allowing the kid to duplicate your key? Do you plan on letting him stay long? Please don't worry about my business. We should establish boundaries and keep some distance between us. When I get serious, you get like this. You're so heartless, but you're patient with him. How old is he and how old are you? You're an adult and he's still a kid. <sighs> oh, I get it now. Are you rejecting me because of the kid? It doesn't matter to me. If you have a problem, we can solve it together. I can help you. My life is already a mess. Please don't make it any more complicated, all right? Leave me be. Thank you. Oscar? Oscar, sit. Stay. Hand. Shake hands. Yes. Good dog. Nope. Okay. Stay. Give me five. Oscar! Let me take your picture. Good boy, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, good boy. You know what? Many customers have been asking about Oscar. They want to know if you're selling him. No way. Oscar is my family. I'm never going to sell him. By the way, the boarding fee will be due soon. 
So then... I know. I'll just get him in a day or two. You're still working? Here's your key. Have you eaten? Hey, do you like pets? Like cats or dogs? I know what you're playing at. No matter what my answer is, you're still bringing one back tomorrow. Don't bother me. Go sit somewhere else. I'm busy. Oh, there's a new toilet. How is it? Do you like it? Does it work well? Don't play dumb. You're the one who decided to buy it behind my back. It took an hour to install, and it made me late. Oh, come on. I'm helping you improve your way of life. You know, you should be thanking me instead of criticizing me. It's so hard to be a good boy. A good boy? You address me as, hey, hey. Is that something a good boy actually does? What do you want me to call you then? Papa? No, 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 don't. Don't call me that. I'd rather you call me Jack. Could you please play that outside? I... You had the opera playing until midnight. Did I say anything? Just bear with it like I did. An 80 square meter apartment, and I can't even have a quiet space for a desk. Don't exaggerate. I mean, this place can't be more than 50 square meters. Are you acting up? You can leave if you are. I can come and go as I please. You can't control me. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Hey, where's my toothbrush? How would I know? You should keep an eye on your own stuff, because I won't. Don't blame me if your guitar gets stolen, okay? Just a warning. Who knows? It may fall off the building. Don't blame me if it gets broken. It may even be burned as firewood. Just a warning. I'm done. I'm tired. Don't be scared. Keep playing. I'll just rest. <laughs> You're terrified. Fleet Furniture Company. Hey, you know something? It doesn't look legit to me. David Liu is definitely up to no good. Oh, thanks for this. You're very resourceful. I got his contact number for you, but I think you should think twice before giving it to Harry. But why? 
Just think, why did David Liu change his number? Isn't it because he wanted to say goodbye to his past? He even abandoned the son he raised for 16 years. Besides, does Harry want to find him? Well, the thing is, he may not be Harry's biological father, but according to the law, he still has ties with the Xiao family. Most importantly, I need to get in touch with Harry's biological father so we could discuss what's going on with him. Why don't you focus less on your students? If you have time, then use it to chat with my brother more. Yeah, but if I don't solve Harry's problem, I'll be distracted when I talk to Andy. Anyway, I'm going to hold on to this business card. When the time is right, I'll give it to Harry. <sighs> I guess my brother's the least of your priorities. I owe you big time. You're awesome. <laughs> Dad? I told you to call me Jack. <laughs> Don't go, Dad. I'm sorry. is never kind to anyone. It always comes up with new ways to be harsh. We don't have a choice though. We can't escape its grasp. Not everyone will get to experience life's tsunamis. But for those who do, I hope its violent tremors will strengthen your character. I hope its stormy waves will strengthen your resolve. I hope you can use the wisdom you gain from savoring life to not be defeated and walk away from the loss. I'd like to help you as much as I can as someone who's experienced it firsthand. There are no pointless paths in life. Your experience will not be wasted. Thank you. 
Yo, you sure work hard. Can't help it. I'm too good. I may have been grounded, but they still need my services. I'm awesome, you know? Sure you are. There's bread on the table. Have some if you want. If not, there's money under it. Buy something you like with it. I won't get you everything, like your dad did. I'm fine, you can have the bread. I'm going now. Take the money, kid. Buy something to eat. I won't let you starve. Whoa! Twenty you and more? Sweet. Did you have a nightmare? Or did your conscience get to you? <sighs> My conscience is crystal clear. Unlike you, you're staying here. Yet you call out to your father in your sleep. Do you need him that much? If you want to rely on him, I can help you find him. Then we'd both be free. Why would you look for him? Are you trying to hand me off to someone else? You haven't paid off your debt to me yet. I don't want your pity. I shouldn't have felt any sympathy for you. I'm keeping this money. Hey, you don't look like you've just landed. You don't look like you're about to take off either. What's going on? Did you get fired? What have you been doing then? I can't explain. After this, I have to work. Oh, come on. Tell me an overachiever like me has fallen to the level of making coffee for an underachiever <coughs> like you. If you hadn't been fired from your job, I wouldn't even serve you. Hey, hang on. Phil was the underachiever. Remember? <laughs> You were the top student. You easily passed the test to get into med school. I wasn't bad either. I got into flight school. Let me tell you, you. At the beginning, I was third from the bottom in our class, but I got into the top five. It's true. I quit being a doctor so I could run my own cafe, but that was completely my choice. Your case is different. It's hard to get into flight school. You shouldn't let your career get ruined because of something trivial. Okay? Right. Is my coffee ready? I'm pouring it now. Hang on, it's almost done. By the way, I uh, asked your colleague to buy me some coffee beans. Where are they? I haven't heard from him at all. Wait, did you give him your address? I didn't. Hang on. I got a package yesterday. He might have made a mistake and sent them to me. Wait here, it's in my car. Let me go check. Okay, go ahead. You gotta be kidding. These low grades are a reflection of your recent performance. Studying is the only way you can change your situation. Don't tell me you've already given up so soon. But Miss Lin, didn't you say 
that grades aren't everything? Besides, it's the first time I didn't do well. I'll have plenty of chances to make up for it in future exams. It's true that grades aren't everything. But your performance hasn't been satisfactory. Your teachers have complained to me. They said you don't turn in your homework or pay attention in class. At this point, I have no choice but to notify your father. <laughs> Him? He can't help me with my studies anyway. Don't bother. That's not up to you to decide, Harry. I can't contact your father. And you won't let me follow you home. I think that it's time I exert my rights as your homeroom teacher. I'm going to talk to your basketball coach and get you off the team. Once your grades improve, you can go back. <laughs> Seriously? It's the same old thing, Miss Lin. Can't you teachers come up with something new? Why do you always suspend students from their club activities and make them focus on their academics? Fine, do what you want. The inner school tournament's about to start. If our team doesn't make it to the finals, it won't be my fault. I wonder who people will be blaming then, huh? huh, huh. So now you're even threatening me? Fine. If you won't tell me your address, I'll figure it out myself. All you want to do is to arrange a home visit? Why didn't you say so in the first place? I can just give you the address. So confusing. Hi, can I help you? Hi, I just wanted to ask if there's a teacher named Olivia Lin in this school? Yes, there is. What do you need her for? Could you please ask her to come out? Right now? Yeah. Classes are still ongoing. Why don't you sign in first, sir? Then you can go to no, her no, office No, no, it's fine, and... really. I, uh... I don't want to go in. Could you just please ask her to come out? Thanks. Do you really live in this neighborhood? You're not lying? I wouldn't dare lie to you. As a friend, I sincerely advise you not to go. That man is so unreliable, he nearly lost his job. You'll know what I mean. Once you meet him, you'll definitely hate him. If you insist on going, I won't stop you. But could you do me a little favor while you're at it? Could you help me convince him to give me a little more spending money, please? <sighs> You shouldn't be worried about what I'll tell him. What you should be worried about is getting your grades up. Yes, I know. So, are you going today or tomorrow? Why do you want to know? Are you going to welcome me with great fanfare? I haven't decided yet. Yes, hello? Hello, is this Miss Lin? Someone wants you at the gate. Oh, okay, thank you. I have to go. Stay here. We're not done yet. What? We're not done yet? Give her the address already. What more does she want? How did you know that this is where I work? What do you want? You said you hadn't seen my sunglasses. So what's this? I hadn't seen them. But you made me feel guilty. And since I did actually borrow them, it's only right to buy you a new pair. If you hadn't seen them, then how were you able to buy an identical pair? Something's not right. Listen, those sunglasses are rare. Limited edition. Even if you find one, it would be very expensive. You didn't do something to them out of spite, or did you? What the hell is this? I bought you a new pair, just accept them. What are you nagging about? You know nothing about them. Those glasses were my lucky pair. When I wear them, good luck comes to me. I don't care. I want them back. Send them back to me, okay? You're being unreasonable. I spent a lot of money so I could get you this new pair. It's not a loss for you. Don't be so unappreciative. Even if it were made of gold, I won't accept it. I don't want it. What I want is my old pair. Listen, I'm giving you three days to send them back to me. I don't care if they're damaged. Where am I supposed to find them? Send them back? To where? How did you send this pair? You can't come up with a lie? You're teaching with that IQ? I should tell the parents who are paying for tuition that this ain't worth it. Three days!
let's try that. When Harry comes, I'll tell him about the changes. Good morning. Oh, hey. speak of the devil. Morning. Come morning. on, Harry, hurry. Let's practice. We just made a few changes. I, that's right. I don't want to. I, what? I'm not in the mood. But... <sighs> hey, what happened? Did Miss Lynn reprimand you? Not only that, now she wants to do a home visit. I see. So, did you give him the address? Well, I had no choice. She would have found out anyway. I wouldn't put it past her to hire a detective to get it. N no way! Come on, that's too much even for her. But you know what, Harry? She means well, she's doing this for you. After all, she knows what happened to you. You came in late for the exam. It must have been Jack's fault. Just let her do it. I don't really need her concern right now. I don't want to end up owing Jack anything, you know? I'm living with him to collect his debt. Every day I keep reminding him that he owes me, that he owes my mom. He makes me upset, but what can I do? When Miss Lynn visits, I'll exaggerate everything. I won't let him have any peace. Well, unfortunate families suffer different kinds of misfortune. My mother is always on my case, but I still get low grades, while Jack just lets you be. Yet you... <sighs> of course he'll let me be. He's so busy writing those lectures, he almost forgets I even exist in the house. Besides, I'm nothing but a thorn in his side. He'll never care about my grades. What about you? What the hell happened to your English test? What are you going to tell your mother? I'm not even worried. One English exam doesn't decide everything. Besides, even a top student like you got a low score. So, you know. You're using me as an excuse? I'll forget it. Let's rehearse, huh? First, listen to the changes we made. Come on. All right. Let's show him what we did. Let's do this, everyone. Okay. Okay. Bye, Miss Lynn. Bye. Take care. Hi, Miss Lynn. Hi, Miss Lynn. Oh, wait! Hey! Miss Lynn! Miss Lynn! Oh, Hi, Miss Lynn. You're Zed's mother. Yes. Are you looking for Zed? Oh, I think it's in the no, music no. room. I actually came here to talk to you. To me? Yes. Oh. Uh, the thing is, Zed didn't do so well in the recent exam, so I... I thought I should come here and discuss it with you. <laughs> the results just came out today. And you already know about it? Uh, but come to think of it, he didn't do that badly. Most of the mistakes he made were common ones. But we mustn't take it lightly. His grades might suddenly take a nosedive if we don't care. <laughs> well, anyway, I came here because I was wondering if it's at all possible for you to tutor him in English outside of class. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't. The school has a rule prohibiting teachers from taking tutoring jobs. Uh, <sighs> there um... are school rules. You can enroll him in a tutorial center. Uh, oh, but I really want you to do it. I'll pay you double what a tutorial center charges. It's not about the money. I just can't go against the rules. 
Ah, well, I understand the rules are very important, but Miss Lin, I'm sure you know what these tutorial centers are like. The only reason they're taking on students is to earn more money. Unlike you, you really care about your students. Look, my son Zed will be going abroad soon, and at his current English level, I know that he's not going to be able to survive. The anxiety is killing me, but it doesn't help. He doesn't listen to me. He has a lot of respect for you, and he listens to you. Please think about it for me. Could you, Miss Lin? Please. <sighs> All right then, but I really can't accept any payment. And also, I can only help till the end of this term. I'll try my best to find some time to tutor him. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, Miss Lin. I really appreciate You're welcome, this. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> My dear friend, please don't get mad at me. I'm making a home visit to Harry's father tomorrow, so I'm checking out the neighborhood. And I lost track of time. Just wait a little longer. I'll bring you a feast to apologize, okay? Um, excuse me. May I have a menu, please? Oh, of course. Please <laughs> Thank take you. your time. An Antony lobster and seafood paella to go. Okay, is that all? Thank you. Go make that. Go. It won't take long. Thank you. Excuse me, here's your Anthony lobster uh. and seafood paella. Thank you. You're welcome. Come again. <laughs> What is it? That woman looked like a dead woman I know. Was she a ghost? Maybe. Anyway, why are you writing here instead of at home? Because someone's there. You expect me to believe that? There isn't even a cockroach in your home. How could someone be there? So? Is it a woman who won't leave your place until you take responsibility? It's someone more annoying than a woman. What are you writing anyway, Jack? My boss asked me to write a lecture for his class. I've only finished half of it. Hey, I don't seem to recognize this, Jack. I mean, you're sucking up to your boss? I clearly remember when you were punished for not apologizing to the teacher by standing all day. Is this some kind of rebirth? Everybody is bound to hit a low point. I guess it's about time that I hit mine. I see. You're sucking up to your boss so you can get your job back, right? Okay, good luck with that. these years, you've been living very comfortably. You've had a good life, but you never learned any useful skills. You even don't know how to cook noodles. Will you put water or noodles in the pot first? You can't even cook the easiest meals. How can you live independently? Yeah. On the way to the restroom, I found this guitar. What in the world was this doing there? Phil left it there for you. Since you're not working, he wants you to play it for fun. Well, that's pretty surprising. Phil's usually stingy. That's very generous of him. Hmm. 
Since you can't fly, he said that you drink to drown your sorrows. So instead of drinking, he said it would be better to play that. Play something. There's no one here. My girlfriend is asking for too much from me. She asked me for a car, now she wants a watch. But I'm a student, where will I get money? I would have to steal some cash. Hey, seriously, I'm grateful my cafe's closed or else you would have frightened my guests away. Since you're not working anyway, why don't you brush up on your guitar skills? Who isn't working? I'm doing everything I can so I could go back to flying across the blue skies. Okay, fine. Uh, keep it up, then. But you know, when your cafe is closed, it feels so cold. The atmosphere is really sad. I'm not staying. I'm going home. Now you're complaining about the atmosphere? <laughs> Don't come again, then. See ya. Go on. What a bad guitar player. Harry? Hey, Harry. Get up and eat. I don't want to. Why not? I want to sleep. I spent my precious time to make this for you. Come on. Eating this won't take too long. Look at these noodles. They look good. Come on, try some. You can sleep later. That was it. Delicious, right? These were made with the Wu family's secret recipe. The amount of water and the heat is important. If you heat them up too much, the noodles won't look good. After three minutes, get them out and rinse them in cold water. Add some soup, and you have a meal. Learn how to do this, and you'll never go hungry. What's the use in just looking good? To get girls? You're still young, man. Were you crying again? Real men don't cry easily. If there's a problem, don't keep it inside. You miss your mother, do it openly. See that bookshelf? There's some space in it. Find a photo of your mom and put it there tomorrow. You can look at it whenever you miss her. Don't look at me like that. You want to thank me? Forget it. I'm doing this for your mother. I'm not like your other dad. I won't spoil you. If you want to stay, you have to take care of yourself. If you can't, then start learning. I know you've never done chores. You had people spoiling you and serving you. Take your time to learn. I can wait.
街和楼房，心中是骏马和猎场，最了不起的脆弱迷惘，不过就这样。天外有天，有无常；山外有山，有他乡。跌了撞了，心还是回老地方。有离与城市的同样，错过了心爱的姑娘。宣告世界的那个理想已不知去向。为所欲为是轻狂。放不胜防，是悲伤。后来再把成熟当偏方。当所有想的、说的、要的、爱的，都记在心脏。行李箱里装不下我想去的远方。这来的、去的、给的、欠的，算一种褒奖。吹草的建筑，长开的至少还有光。把烦恼痛了、吞了、忍了、算了，不对别人讲。谁还没有辜负几段昂贵的时光？若男孩笑了、哭了、累了，说要去流浪，留下大人的模样，看岁月剪发的无常。会有个人成为你的远方。